America is drowning in student debt like never before. This year, student loan debt reached an all-time high of $1.4 trillion. Nearly 70% of students had to take out loans to make it through college. On average, each student graduated about $30,000 in debt. One of the things that makes student loan debt such a drag on the economy is that it's so hard to get rid of. I am from Los Angeles, California. And how was it like moving to the Bay Area? Um, moving to the Bay Area was a really hard transition. It wasn't that easy, really. Um, one, because in Los Angeles we don't pay for toll fees, and here we do. And there's beaches in LA. I don't think there's really any beaches here. Um, and like for transportation, um, you have to pay for how far you travel here. That's ridiculous. I would never do that. Um, in LA, it's like a dollar seventy-five to go however far you want to go. Like if I wanted to go from Oakland to San Francisco on the metro in LA, it'd be a dollar seventy-five. And if you had the student tap card, it's a thirty-day uh, tap card that you that you pay a month so that you can get on any transportation for free, basically, right? You pay twenty-five dollars a month, and then you can tap your card as many times in a day to get on different kinds of buses, um, trains. That's really good for low-income students like myself. So, fuck the Bay Area sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay. okay, do you wanna ask me how I'm feeling? Yeah, how are you feeling? I am feeling like shit. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you feeling like shit? These past couple of weeks have been a little tough for me. Um, I'm still trying to get things together. I'm still trying to comprehend on the things that have been happening. Um, so, I'm trying, but little by little, day by day, it's getting a little bit better. I was a black sheep of my family. I wasn't really supported um, of my sexual orientation. Um, I got kicked out of my house. I believe the second semester of my senior year. So it was a really tough time because that was when college apps was due, that's when FAFSA was due, that's when we had to make a college decision on what college we wanted to go to. Um, so it was a tough time. I was declared as a homeless student for at least two years, but it didn't take into real effect until um, my second semester of senior year. And with that knowledge, you know, I use that to my advantage. I was like, well, now I'm a homeless student. What can I do? What can I benefit from this? And I realized going to college and trying to make the college understand that. Um, so, and also I realized it's never an embarrassment to ask for food. I can understand how people can be embarrassed to ask for money. But when there's a difference, and this is something that I learned from um, a program that I'm in in Los Angeles, it's called Kid City Hope Place, and they help strive first year, um, what is it called, first generation students, I mean, um, for a better education, obviously. And uh, what they do specifically, right, when I went in there and I told them that I'm a, I was a homeless student, one thing that resonated me with the director of Kid City is she told me, um, never be afraid to ask for what you need when you really need it. Money shouldn't be a problem. Money is just an asset of what really depends on how wealthy and how not wealthy you become. And I took that into, you know, into the heart because it's something real. Money doesn't buy you happiness. It buys you to a happy house, but it doesn't buy you happiness. And yeah. Having a lot of money, that would constitute a great day for me. Being able to go shop and do whatever I want, that's a great day. I started liking photography because um, middle school was a really hard time for me. And photography became my escape. 
from all the adversity that I was facing. Um, it was really dark. I was in a really dark place throughout my, my middle school. So photography was there to, as a way to set myself free, relieve myself. Um, and also because I went to the Space Annenberg Museum for photography in Los Angeles. And when I went there, I saw one image called The Afghan Girl by Steve um, McCurry. And after looking at that image, I told myself, this is what I want to do. This is what I want to take portraits of. This is why I want to, take, I want to be a portrait photographer. This is why I want to work for National Geographic. Because I want to tell compelling and beautiful stories and help it connect with people. There's not enough programs uh, for students like me. Um, I think many other, I think uh, you see schools are doing a better job than a, a private institution. When I was, when I applied, right, I looked at the school, they have great small classes. That's a great thing about this school, but I feel as if like they're not, they're not doing a lot and they're not very proactive in, I don't know, that kind of, that kind of says something, I guess. I don't know how I've... Essentially, no. They're not helping me independently. They're not... They're really not doing anything about that. They don't have specific programs for students like me. Like, the only thing that I know so far that I was being part of um, is the cohort, the um, honors cohort for first-generation students. And that's pretty much the only thing that I'm part of for first-generation. Um, but it doesn't support me financially. It just supports as a sense, as a support, like a support group. And that's not the same thing, if that makes any sense. In 2006, total student debt was under 500 billion. Now it's over 1.5 trillion, eclipsing both credit card debt and auto loan debt. Yeah, over 44 million Americans have student loans with a mean balance of over 30 grand and a median balance over 17 grand. And if you don't know the difference between median and mean, <laughs> your student loans were truly a waste of money. It's terrible. We're in a really bad place now with student debt. And it's gotten worse at CCACC. When I went, I was a student here and it was so much less expensive then. But to leave with like $200,000 in debt and work as a painter would be terrible, right? But it could if you if you had to borrow fifty thousand dollars each semester because isn't isn't tuition forty seven thousand then you have to live here too yeah and that just grows exponentially I have lots of friends I'm old and I have lots of friends who are still paying their student debt student debt off but and literally all of all of my friends who are who are artists are still paying or either just finished off like I'm almost fifty just finished off paying their debt now or are still paying it off. I mean, that's crazy, right? Yeah. Have you seen students that succeed who have student, student debt? Yeah, no, I, I mean, people do. I'll, also, I think it depends if they're fine artists or they're commercial artists or what kind of job they end up getting in order to pay it off. Some jobs, I think, will help you with your loans. But I think if you're going to be try to be a fine, fine artist, you're not necessarily going to make any money. So, then... They, then it's hard to pay them off. But some people get great jobs and they just pay them off the first year. It just depends. But like everything in this con in everywhere, you know, people who are richer have more choices and people who are poorer have fewer choices and that's, it's not right, it's not right. The goal is National Geographic, <laughs> but I don't know if that'll be true, right? It's, it's gonna take a while. Um, but I do hope to be working at... Either I'm trying to start up my own business or I'm gonna decide on working for a company. Overall, five years from now, I can see myself stably ready to actually conquer the world.
And Josh, did he say hi to the camera? Damn. <laughs>